It looks like Monolith Soft and Intelligent Systems could be going through a major graphics overhaul for their next titles that include Xenoblade, a potential new IP, and Fire Emblem. But before we get into exactly how all of this is going to shake down, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new, and click that notification bell for the latest information on all things RPGs for the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo content, and more. Now let's get into this potential major use of Unreal Engine for two of my favorite developers of all time with Monolith Soft and Intelligent Systems. But first we have to back things up to Epic and Nintendo's relationship and exactly how all of this started and where are these rumors or speculation coming from because it is rooted in some actual truth in practice when it comes to games that Nintendo has published. So let's first start off with Yoshi's Crafted World that used Unreal Engine 4. That's the first game that Nintendo has published as a first party title with one of their IP with Yoshi to use Unreal Engine 4. However, like all projects that Nintendo funds, they usually have some of their people to help on the tech side and with support. Remember, Good Feel did develop Yoshi's Crafted World and Nintendo does not own Good Feel. They are not a first party publisher, but once again, Nintendo does have their people there to help out as liaisons and more. So rest assured, Nintendo's people were definitely learning how to use Unreal Engine 4 all of those years ago when Yoshi's Crafted World was being developed and released in 2019. Now let's fast forward to 2023 with the release of Pikmin 4. That was Nintendo's first internally developed game that used Unreal Engine Engine 4. So that's pretty big time with Nintendo EPD using it outside of a main engine that's not something internal like what's used for like Pikmin 1 through 3 and many of Nintendo's other big first party games. Now, once again, let's take these rumors with a grain of salt. I think at this point, just like with all rumors, take with a grain of salt when it comes to Nintendo and Epic Games forming this big relationship for first party titles to use Unreal Engine going forward. Now, Zippo and Doctray81 have both been pretty adamant about this when it comes to Nintendo's developers using Unreal Engine more for future games, especially with the Nintendo Switch 2 or the next gen system right around the corner. Now, some of these developers that are rumored to be using Unreal Engine 4 for their projects are Game Freak. Nintendo EPD, of course they are, because they already used it for Pikmin 4, so we could see more of that from them, but also Monolith Soft and Intelligent Systems, which that is incredibly interesting. I'm going to hit on both of those in just a bit, but let's talk about Game Freak first real quick. Now, Game Freak using Unreal Engine is definitely interesting, but I'm hesitant to think that it will actually happen. However, the Pokemon company did come out recently and say that they are having serious conversations about how to keep the quality of the Pokemon games better while having regular releases, so we'll see how exactly that turns out. Maybe using a new engine with a lot of tools for support and all of that will be something that they can use to actually make a better quality game and really beneficial to Pokemon, but once again, we have to wait and see. But I do think that with this rumor, specifically pertaining to both Monolith Soft and Fire Emblem, or Monolith Soft and Intelligent Systems, I should say, could be more fact than fiction. Now, let's first start off with Monolith Soft, who has used an enhanced version of the Xenoblade Chronicles X engine from the Wii U for all of their Xenoblade games on the Nintendo Switch. Now, since 2015's Xenoblade Chronicles X, Monolith Soft has made countless tweaks of this engine to make it better and handle more that they throw at it. However, I think it might be at the end of the road for what they can do and maybe, just maybe, they are looking for a bit of a new style while being able to speed up development. Now, considering how good Monolith Soft is with a variety of engines based on their work from various different Nintendo IP, you've got Zelda, Splatoon, Animal Crossing working across different systems before working on the Wii and the Nintendo 3DS with games. They've got a lot of experience with various different engines and tools. So I could absolutely see Monolith Soft maybe using Unreal Engine for their next major game. Now that team 
is super talented. You guys know how I feel about Monolith Soft. They are incredibly talented and they can do a lot. And I feel they can create something absolutely beautiful with Unreal. Tales of Arise, that's an incredible anime aesthetic style graphics. That really comes to mind to what we could see next gen from Monolith Soft, but even better, because I feel Monolith Soft's artists are better than most considering what they did on the Nintendo Switch with Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Heck, we can even go back to Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii where nobody else was even close to making an RPG that size and look that good on the original Nintendo Wii, the Wii U. Nobody was even close from a third party development standpoint to make any game that looked as good as Xenoblade Chronicles X that was that size as an RPG. So they have a long history of taking a little and making a lot. The game's overall art with Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and Future Redeemed, the graphics, they look so good. Even stacked up to major JRPGs on other platforms where the developers have access to far more system resources and power. That's how talented and good Monolith Soft is. So imagine if they got enhanced power and tools for what they can do. Yeah, that's going to be very impressive in my opinion. Now, Monolith Soft could easily just update their current Xeno X engine for the next gen, and I think they'd be just fine. But something tells me they might want in on this Unreal Engine craze, at least for one game to see how things work out. Now, one major thing to consider here if Nintendo's games start to use Unreal Engine is that Nintendo must pay royalties based on whatever agreement Nintendo and Epic came to. So there is a massive financial risk here where Nintendo would be making a lot less profit on each game that uses Unreal Engine. So all of this could blow up in all of our faces here if Nintendo decides, you know what, we don't want to pay those royalties, we don't want to do that for all of our other games, and we'll just continue to develop in-house in terms of our own engines. Let's move on to intelligent systems, and this is where things get incredibly interesting because they are the somewhat opposite of Monolith Soft on their engine use. With Fire Emblem Three Houses, Koei Tecmo stepped in with the Warriors engine to help make the game, and there was mixed results for sure. While character models look decent, but the in-game graphics for the environments and background definitely suffered a bit. Performance wasn't ideal in all situations either, so I knew that the next big Fire Emblem game, we would probably get something different different when it comes to the engine use and i was right because fire emblem engage made the switch to the unity engine which is a popular solid engine used by multiple developers but absolutely had a little bit of a rough start originally on the nintendo switch before it was smoothed out over the number of years however i don't really feel unity or the warriors engine is the future for intelligent systems they never really made their own engine after moving on from the Nintendo 3DS Fire Emblem games, and it just shows here with them moving back and forth. But out of all the developers for Nintendo rumored to be using Unreal Engine, this might make the most sense since Intelligent Systems have been changing engines for the two major Fire Emblem games on the Switch. I could absolutely see Nintendo pulling a good feel with Intelligent Systems and what they did with Yoshi and making the next Fire Emblem game with Unreal Engine. Now the intriguing thing here is though is how fast or not did they make the switch if it happened or has it already happened. Now right now it is heavily rumored and I've gotten information myself that the next Fire Emblem game is a remake of the fourth game. Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War from the Super Nintendo, one of the best RPGs or strategy RPGs that I have ever played, easily one of the best Fire Emblem games ever made, and probably the most controversial Fire Emblem game from a story perspective, one of the most shocking games of all time easily in terms of how this game plays out the structure the layout it was incredible at the time that it released and if you haven't played it and you plan on playing it or you want to play it just hold on and wait a little bit more until we get confirmation of this because this game is mind-blowing in terms of what they did in it now did intelligent systems make the jump to unreal engine with that game the rumored remake or do they stick with unity like with fire emblem engage 
did Koei Tecmo help out with this Fire Emblem remake? Or maybe they just went back to the Warriors engine? Koei Tecmo has used that engine to make multiple Fire Emblem games on the Switch with Fire Emblem Three Houses, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, and Fire Emblem Warriors. It's absolutely a possibility that it's helped with Koei Tecmo and they're just using that engine. Or maybe Intelligent Systems is waiting for the next major Fire Emblem game on the Switch 2 for Unreal Engine Fire Emblem. Now apparently, this remake of Fire Emblem 4 has been done for quite some time and Nintendo has been sitting on it kind of like how things were for Fire Emblem Engage. Chances are Intelligent Systems might already be hard at work for the next gen Fire Emblem game on the Switch 2, so we'll probably see how things work out at the next Nintendo Direct or early next year. Now, this was a lot to take in. I definitely did some time to write out and think about what I was going to say when it comes to this. I didn't just want to jump the gun and make a video on it. I wanted to really think about how this could benefit and what's going on with each company as I looked through and looked to see what engines they were using and how things were, look back at posts. Nintendo isn't very forthcoming with what engines they use all the time. A lot of time it's like data mined or sometimes we'll get some people say, okay, well, this game uses like the Splatoon engine and they share it with this. Like even with Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, it wasn't the Breath of the Wild engine. They used modified from the Splatoon 3 engine. I mean, there was a lot of different things that goes on with this and Nintendo doesn't reveal a lot but they will talk about unreal engine at times if they use it but they're not forthcoming by saying hey look at this big old partnership and all that so i wouldn't expect nintendo to say anything when it comes to unreal engine 4 anytime soon or if a game is going to use it we might just see it in like a trailer tag or something or data mined or whatever the case is but i don't see nintendo coming out and just blasting it to everyone we're using unreal engine but i do think that it does say one thing here it says that nintendo i think is a bit more serious if this is true going forward with how their games are going to look and the amount of time it's going to take to make these next generation games now i know for a fact the last thing that nintendo wants for their major rpgs is to see mass delays like we got with some of their games right like we got with fire emblem and like we got with some of their rpgs dating back to xenoblade chronicles x and other titles or even their big games like the legend of zelda ocarina of time which was delayed for quite a bit because because of what they were trying to do and everything. What you want with these titles is to have an engine that works, that has plenty of support, that can easily make games and has as many tools and options for developers to get things done as quick as possible. Then at the same time, I don't think every game needs to be unrealified. Sometimes you can have an in-house engine that's better for what you're trying to do. So I don't think, or at least I'm not one of these people who feel everything needs to be made on Unreal Engine because graphics, graphics are the best on Unreal Engine. I'm definitely not one of those people there's way too many of you guys out there but i do feel that it might make sense for certain games it might make sense for certain games and if they can provide a good deal to nintendo and if these developers with monolith soft and intelligent systems can make games more efficiently and make their games look and run better from what we've seen I think that this could be a positive benefit for everyone involved when it comes to Monolith Soft, Game Freak if that's true, Intelligent Systems, Nintendo, obviously Epic would be thrilled with Nintendo jumping on this, and maybe, just maybe, it's not just Unreal Engine 4, but obviously Unreal Engine 5, which supports the standard Switch, by the way, it's very scalable, so I'm guessing that a lot of these games, or at least in the future here, could be Unreal Engine 5, as well so i think that it's exciting it's interesting to see exactly how everything's gonna play out and i feel that nintendo absolutely has a plan to make sure that they don't go into software droughts and many issues because that really hurt the wii u absolutely hurt the wii u and they do not want a repeat of that they want to keep things when it comes to the launch and the consistent flow of games very good and even with the nintendo 3ds there was a drought of games at the beginning until later in the year so it's something that nintendo wants to avoid when it comes to nintendo switch 2 and not starting out slow they're going to need a good rollout of games they're going to need to get their base excited with nintendo directs and what their developers are working on so if this is part of the equation then i say 
say get it done if you can nintendo but once again it'll be interesting to see how everything works out could just be nothing here or maybe it's just one game here or there or it could be something a bit more but what are your thoughts on this guys when it comes to nintendo and epic with unreal engine do you feel that there's more to this let me know in the comment section also make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new Click that notification bell and check out our other videos on screen, including my top 25 Nintendo Switch games 2023 update and the latest on Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenosaga that could be coming in the future. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you for the next one. Peace.